In this video, I'm going to show you some basic animation techniques that you can use to animate just about anything inside your factory. So first what we're going to do is we need an object to animate. So let's come over to the Create tab and create a box. So we can select box and then click and drag on the ground, release the mouse, and then give it some height and then click again to finish the command. So now we have our box to animate. So in order to animate, what we're going to do is set up keyframes, which will define the first and last positions we want our object to be in over a given time and set what's called keyframes. So there's two different ways to set keyframes. So if we come down here, we have a set key and an auto key. So let's go ahead and click the set key right now. And you'll notice the timeline bar turns red. Once we're in set key mode, we can go ahead and start moving our object around where we want it and set some keys. So first you'll notice down here we have this timeline. So this is broken up into frames. The default setting is 30 frames per second. So you can go frame by frame and if you want to move an object over one second, let's say, we can start at zero. This would be the initial frame. We can come over here and hit this big key. We have to make sure your object is selected first. Come hit the key. So now you'll see this, uh, this keyframe has been created at that position. So what we can do is we can come up here and let's say, um, let's click the move command. So now when you move an object, you can move it in an X, Y, or Z direction just by clicking on that arrow. Or you can move it freely by selecting one of these planes right here. So let's just move it along the Y direction. But first, let's move it to frame 30. So now we know it'll move over a second. Then grab the Y arrow and then slide this down here. And then once it's in the position we want it, we can hit the key and that'll place our second keyframe. Then we can slide our time frame bar down to let's say 60 and then move this up and hit another key. So if we want to play this back, we can come over here, set this to the beginning, and hit play. That's your most basic animation technique right there. The second method of animation is called auto key. What auto key does is automatically set a key whenever we move our object. So let's go into auto key mode. Then what we'll do is move our timeline over to 30 frames and then move our object. So now you see we have our initial position was automatically keyed and our new position. So if we slide this back and forth, we can see that motion. So now let's say I wanted to animate something like my box moving and then pausing and then moving again. So let's go into set key mode, click our box, Set a key at zero, and then let's say at 20 frames, we move to here, set another key, and let's say we want it to pause for 10 frames. What we can do is click our frame, hold the shift key down, and then slide the frame, and that'll make an exact copy of the frame. That way, the position will remain constant through those 10 frames. And then we can move to, let's say, frame 50, move our box down, and set another key. So now when we play our animation back, you can see the pause there. That's really useful when we're animating robots to make them look a little more realistic. We can also animate things like rotations. So let's come up to the rotate button and click our object. Let's slide our timeline over to 70 and then rotate. And then click our set key. 
Now when we play that back, our box will rotate once it gets to the bottom. So one thing I mentioned in the previous video was our different coordinate systems over here. So let's say now we want to move this object along its own coordinate system. So if we go to move, you can see that the two don't line up. So what we can do is come up here and switch this from view to local. And you'll see that our little coordinate system changes. So now we can slide this along the proper path and set a new key. So those are the basic techniques we'll use to do all of our animations in the upcoming videos.